Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be setting up the weekly dashboard for the upcoming week. So as usual, before we get started, let's mark a couple of things. I'm just gonna take the stickers out of this back pocket. So first things first, let's mark our yoga. This week it went pretty well. I'm just gonna go to the monthly view. So today is 16th that means we are on day 15 so until then i am done we are officially halfway through and there's just 15 more practices left for yoga so that's fine another thing that i want to mark is this week we had updated our no spend tracker so i didn't spend i spent on one day so i'm just gonna tick mark all of them i think i ended up spending on thursday or wednesday i think it's thursday itself so i'm gonna mark that and today i didn't spend anything tomorrow i'm gonna see and then mark it later so i had to get some milk and since i was already out i just stocked up my groceries as well so i'm just gonna add a groceries sticker on thursday that should be fine we're good with that another thing that i want to mark here is tomorrow i'm going to get my laundry done so i just want to put that as well now itself so that my laundry is a bit like i don't have a set schedule for it and i usually go once in two weeks or something so if i just see here as to when i would have done it's easier for me to plan for laundry so I'm just going to put that laundry sticker here. And we should be good with that. And yeah, I think we are done with tracking all of these things. Okay, so let's get started with our work goals first. Last week, I had put client notes and sessions that I have automated everything. It's fine. Notes is like I've set up a schedule and that's going well. With podcast the way weeks have been going i think like i'm comfortable with posting one podcast a week and for a few weeks i am going to continue with one and if i have time i'll probably put another one because this week is going to be really hectic with my classes starting and work timings you know changing and stuff i need a little bit of time to get adjusted so i'm just going to put as one podcast and then at least five YouTube videos. So this is going to be my work goals. And when it comes to personal goals, I'm just going to put the same things because I want that to be a part of my routine. It's really working out yoga, walks. And then I also want to put reading fiction. I actually started reading this week. I'll show you guys. I'm reading this book. Aristotle and Dante discovers the discover the secrets of universe. I started reading it a couple of days back. That's nice. I want to continue reading that. So I'm just going to keep that same as so well. I want to use these fork and knife stickers for my meal plan first. And then I am going to write with Monday. It's going to be chapati with karela and then on tuesday it's gonna be rice and rasam this week i followed like pretty much i think on one of the days i didn't so that's that's okay more often than not so i'm gonna put chapati plus okra Usually whenever I have more quantity of a particular vegetable, I just make extra and I have the same thing again the next day with ragi dosa or something else. And on Friday, it's going to be rice and veg curry. And on Saturday, I'm still not sure as to what. I'm just going to leave that blank. And then on Sunday, I'm going to have rice plus chicken. 
so my meals lunch and dinner is going to be the same thing and for breakfast i either have oats with some fruit or i have toast and eggs so that's done and with weekly affirmations i tried a different font this time next week is going to be really hectic like i mentioned earlier so i feel like this affirmation is going to be very helpful for me and what i do with these affirmation is that every day morning i write about like 10 to 15 times for the entire week i write on most of the days unless i have a really busy morning it is part of my morning routine so i make sure that i get it done and any affirmation that you guys choose make sure that you're acknowledging you know the type of week that you're having the lifestyle and all of that this is really going to help me this week i'm um, i already feel better like reading this a couple of times so we are good with that after some time i'm going to go and erase the pencil marks now with calls and emails i do have some things that i want to mark for calls as usual i'm just going to put as our family catch up on saturday this week we didn't have it because it was my niece's birthday and everyone were there so that didn't work out this week i think next week we are going to have it and then email i want to send those documents that i prepped this week for approval so i'm just going to put that here documents for approval and then i have another email okay some more emails that i want to send at work i'm hiring a couple of people so i need to send some emails to them as well and then a really exciting thing is i need to email the podcast guest i have shortlisted a couple of people and i will email them this week with you know the topic that's there in my mind that i want to discuss and see when they are free and all of that finalize all that this week and yeah soon there will be someone on my podcast so that's fine and shopping list i'm pretty much okay with the groceries for this week so i don't want to put anything here because i got some on thursday so what i thought is here i am going to put like my tarot card for the week so i usually do tarot readings on sunday evenings for the upcoming week for myself so i thought i could use this section to put that down just because you know i have this empty spot and for that I want to use one of these stickers that I used in my weekly layout to cover up this shopping list thing and then put tarot card Today is actually Saturday so I'm going to do the reading tomorrow whenever I do my weekly review I'm going to do it then and put the card that I get Let me know if you want me to do it once on camera. I can do it like my entire weekly reflection routine, wherein I do this part. I do a mini review and then I do some tarot reading and all of that stuff. If you're interested, let me know. I can film a video about it. So that's done. And then here, last week this actually worked out really well for me having this. set of things that i want to get done in that week and then every day depending on how busy i am i can come back to this list and see okay can i you know do any of these things on that particular day so that's working really well i think i'm going to continue that but before that i want to add a sticker here just to cover that up and also i wanted to add an important stick up this one i want to put it over here next to the podcast guest thing because these things take time for me to like you know finalize 
the questions that I want to ask them and fixing a time that's suitable for both of us. So I want to put as important just to highlight it and I just cut off this symbol. I'm not a huge fan of that so I just took it off. Okay, we are good with that. And here I wanted to add a this week sticker. This one. Because I am not tracking my weekly expenses. Here I have a separate budget planner for that. Wherein I track. It's a completely different system. But last year it worked out really well for me. So first things first is my cleaning routine. So just clean home and then, okay, I'm just going to put as clean and vacuum over here. And then what else? I need to organize my closet as well because I'll be doing my laundry tomorrow. And I need to fold all of that and just organize my closet. And then we have, I need to order gifts for some of my family members. They had their birthdays in November, December and like this month. So I just want to order for all of them. And then I also need to order gifts for my clients. And how I finalize this list for the entire week is that first thing I obviously put my cleaning routine and then I go back to my monthly dashboard and see this list and just check, okay, is there anything that I can do this week and this week looks good to do all of these things and I also need to set up my bullet journals. So for work as well as college for work i'm just making like random notes in the same notebook i really need to set up my layouts because that works really well for me and then for college it's gonna start uh next week so i want to set that up as well let me know if you want me to do a video on setting up the bullet journal i can do it Anyways, I'm thinking I'll set it up on Monday. So if you're interested, please comment down and I'll end up filming it. So that's that. And yeah, another thing is my tarot reading sessions for my clients. My clients have booked the tarot readings for the upcoming week. So I have to just see and make sure that I go on time and all that is managed digitally so I get a reminder that's good. I thought since there is space I could add it. I think we are done with the sections that I have to put down today. The weekly reflection as well as my tarot reading I am going to do it on Sunday evening and then this thankfulness or gratefulness uh, section I do it on Monday mornings. So I think we are done here. Let me know which type of plan with me is you like. Do you like wherein I talk through all my to-do list and stuff or do you like more of these decorative plan with me's? I would be interested to know. So yeah guys, that's it for today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!